morning, Hope Community Church. We are in Acts chapter 21. Acts 21, beginning at verse 8. And the Bible says, On the next day we left for Caesarea, and entering the house of Philip the Evangelist, who was one of the seven, we stayed with him. Now this man had four vir virgin daughters who were prophetess, and we were staying there some days, and a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. And coming to us, he took Paul's belt and bound it to his own feet and hands and said, This is what the Holy Spirit says. In this way, the Jews at Jerusalem will bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. And we heard this. We, we as well as the local residents, began begging him not to go up to Jerusalem. And then Paul answered, what are you doing, weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be bound, but even to die in Jerusalem for the name of, of the Lord Jesus. And since he could not be persuaded, we fell silent, remarking, the will of the Lord be done. So let me point out a couple things here. Um, Agabus, um, he, he's actually a really good prophet. Um, we know from other historical documents that he... He predicted some famines, and they came about. So this isn't just some fly-by-night kind of guy or, or some some huckster or whatever. Uh, this guy's this guy's serious, and so they're putting some weight into um, what this guy's saying about what's going to happen to Paul. And what I find very interesting is there's there's a division. Uh, I think we know what it like what it's like to to live in a divided country um, and division, but there's two groups. There's there's one group of people that are saying, please don't go to Jerusalem. They're begging Paul not to go. There's another group consisting of mostly Paul, um, who, who we know from from other scriptures that that he has a passion to go to Jerusalem. He has money that he's going to give to the poor um, and its desire, his desire is to go and share um, more about Jesus. And, and so, so what do we do when we have a division? Well, sometimes we try to figure out who's right and who's wrong. Well, who's right and who's wrong in this? I don't really know. Um, I, there's one group that that says Paul you shouldn't go and there's Paul who says I, I want to go if if we look at their hearts their hearts are, are for Paul Paul's heart is for some other people so let's just say we don't really know there but here's where I think we can find a solution certainly within Christians is verse 14 it says and since he could not be persuaded they fell silent remarking the will of the Lord be done. What if in the church, if that's what we sought, we said, okay, what we want more than anything is God's will. I have my opinion. You have your opinion. Let's come together. Let's seek God's will. And, if, and if, even if I don't like it, that's ultimately what I want. I want God's will done in my life and the life of of people around me. Let's let's seek after the will of the Lord. Love you guys. Praying for you. I'll talk to you soon.